abundant energy in harmony with nature. Bad architecture creates our energy crisis and global warming problems. By Larry Hartwig, Zedmaster at ZeroEnergyDesign.com According to the American Institute of Architects website, buildings inefficiently waste more energy than transportation or industry. Architects admit that they are the primary source of our energy crisis and the greenhouse gases that cause man-made global warming. You can read the details on AIA.org. Building Buyers Beware Proven energy efficient design has been ignored for decades by non-learning architects and builders. Most professors who train them have never lived or worked in a zero energy building and they therefore haven't a clue. The future solution will require better informed consumers who control demand and the elimination of commonplace careless construction that influences supply. The Shelton Group Energy Pulse Survey found that 86 percent of Americans would be glad to pay more for an energy efficient home. But 78 percent of home buyers reported that no one talked to them about energy efficiency during the home buying process. Non-learning architects and builders just don't understand the energy efficient mortgage program and the great value it has in lowering the total cost of ownership of an energy efficient home. The problem we face today is very similar to the declining domestic car companies that refuse to build the kind of cars that Japan has been building since the 1970s. If you're shopping for a new car, you can compare federally mandated mile per gallon performance ratings which influence your total cost of ownership and your impact on our delicate environment. But there is no uniform rating system for the quality of work done by architects and builders who have a much larger impact on energy in the environment so they continue doing extremely inefficient bad architecture when far superior solutions have been available and proven for decades. Architects are trained as aesthetic artists not as energy engineers. Take a look at any modern architecture magazine and you'll see awards given by uninformed architects for beautiful but extremely inefficient architecture. Albert Einstein said, the thinking which created today's problems is insufficient to solve them. Architects have no background to be able to solve the problems that were created by architects. For example, on a hot summer day when your air conditioner is running full time, would you open a window? Worse yet, would you put a fan in it and blow cool air outside while sucking in hot, humid outside air, dust, pollen, mold, etc. That foolishness is exactly what happens when you turn on your clothes dryer in houses designed by conventional careless architects. Over 70 percent of energy consumed by bad architecture is wasted uselessly. Bad architecture creates expensive forced air infiltration. You should never have a forced air vent like a clothes dryer exposed to air conditioner vents. It will just suck the expensive conditioned air out of your house, forcing replacement air to come in from somewhere. This is a very expensive waste of energy. A clothes dryer forces conditioned air outside. It sucks dirty, unconditioned air inside. A weather sealed door should isolate your clothes dryer from all air conditioned areas. There should be no air conditioner vents in the clothes dryer closet. The dryer needs an outside fresh air intake for the air that it's forcing outside. Your clothes dryer should be on an outside wall with a very short straight duct. You can have a convenient folding ironing room nearby, but the dryer must have a weather strip door isolating it from the air conditioned portion of your home. Architects often design in terrible things like inefficient fireplaces and ceiling fans that increase your utility bills. In our passive solar cooling video, 
we talk about how most conventional addicts act like a solar furnace in the summer instead of like a comfortable shade tree. Conventional bad architecture addicts are often 150 degree energy wasters. Running leaky ductwork in hot attics can waste half of the air conditioning that you pay for. Zero energy design attics do not get as hot as the peak outdoor summer air temperature, which significantly lowers air conditioning bills and your impact on global warming. Abundant energy in harmony with nature. We need more critical consumers and better educated architects who will stop designing dumb buildings. They make hundreds of expensive, avoidable mistakes that are easily corrected. We discuss the details on ZeroEnergyDesign.com and PassiveSolarEnergy.info.